this, so let's continue. Uh, let's continue uh, identity migration uh, demo series. Let me remind that we have a couple web application and web APIs. We have our own identity management system uh, based on some identity provider with our own identity database and we own responsible for user verification, for storing user, for generation uh, all kind of tokens in order to get access to our web platform. What we are going to do is to migrate from the own identity service this time to something we called Azure AD B2C. So this is our uh, high-level picture. We have our web application which talks to our web APIs. All of these services configured to use Azure B2C. Azure B2C is another one identity provider for Microsoft, which uh, allow to store user in own Active Directory, but also use external identity providers and it also allows some kind of extensibility, which we we'll discuss a bit later. So let's get back to our test applications. We have test web app and test web API configured with our identity which is Azure adb 2 c Let's open our Azure and this time what we need is to switch our default tenant to the, um, to the demo tenant I created, which is called this B2C. So let's switch. Here is our test B2C tenant. All of the application registrations are done in this tenant. All user creations are also in this tenant. So all of the uh, following demos are made in the, this test tenant B2C. Let's see what's inside. So if we open Azure directory for this tenant, we will see all the users. Right now, I believe we have none of the users. Previously, I've created demo users, but for this B2C, we don't have users yet. We will create our test users in our following demos. So let's check users data. And right now we have only my own uh, admin account, but we don't have any test users. Let's also check our app registrations. Here I have a couple applications and we'll take a look at the all applications later. So here are our app registrations in all apps we have basically four apps well, our web app our web api and something extra for our following demos okay so let's go to source code what we have here is our web application and this web application is configured to use microsoft identity platform with following configuration. This configuration is uh, right now instance is our B2C tenant. We have also our B2C domain. All of this is configured here. So home, Azure B2C. Our domain name is this one. This is our domain. 
our client ID 09A is in our app registrations. In all applications, we have demo web with following application client ID. Oops. Here our client ID. What else? We have uh, sign in, sign up uh, flow. Let's open this flow. So inside the B2C in Asia AD B2C have something called well, this user flow is our test user flow sign up sign in and here are settings for our user flow okay let's start our web application is a simple uh, Razor Pages app, which then talks to Web API. But let's first start an app. Run project. What we see here is redirect to the Azure B2C with a request to login or sign in. Let me remind that we do not have users yet. And what I'm going to do, I will sign up with a new user right now. I will use my test email. This one. By default, uh, Azure BTC requires email verification. For that, it will send email with a verification code. I'm using this email, means that this code I need to provide in order to register. Here, I will verify my code. And then I am allowed to proceed registration procedure by providing my password and some other uh, user registration information. Let me provide some data here. And let's say I have filled all the required uh, parameters. After that, I am allowed to use my authenticator app in order to set up two-factor authentication or authorization. Let me open my authenticator up. I am going to add a new account and scan uh, QR code. Next, I need to verify my newly added account. Okay. With that, I have new account created to factor authentication configured. And I'm also logged in to my web application with newly created user. Let's find this user in our Active Directory. Uh, so here in Asia B2C in my test tenant, I do see my new account created. It's a local account with following email like that. I see all the tokens, all the claims from the ID token. 
I see my name, I see my additionally configured uh, claims, which I collect during the registration procedure, and I also embed these token values, claim values, into my ID token. I also have uh, extra uh, data, we will talk about this a bit later, and all of this is part of my ID information from Asia. Now, with that, I can call my API. Let's see what we have in our API. It's also configured to use Azure B2C. The configuration is like that. We have new domain, tenant ID and client ID for my web API. Let's open application registration for the web API. So here in the app registrations, I have uh, app registration for my demo API. The client ID is 04A, exactly this one. I also need to provide sign-in, sign-up policy and scopes. Okay, let's see what we have inside exposed APIs for that API. I have two scopes for my application ID, URI, which is this one, and two scopes, data write, data read. Now, when I, for my web application, going to invoke web API via HTTP client, I need to get access token for my web API for that scope and use this access token as a bearer one to get demo from there or to get data from the API. Let's try. Um, Let's make sure that API is started. Let's run this project. This is our swagger for the web API. It's protected by default. I cannot make an invocation without uh, authentication data. I have 401. But from my web app, for that user, I can get data with access token from Asia like this. This is demo data from web API delivered to my web app like that. And all of this inside uh, Asia B2C. Uh, let me for now, let's say sign out. Okay, that's all for this demo things.